That's right, Helen, with March quickly approaching, both the Carroll College women as well as the Carroll men's team have locked in the top two seeds of this year's Frontier Conference Basketball Tournament, which is set to tip off Thursday afternoon at the Four Seasons Arena in Great Falls with the Fighting Saints taking the floor Friday afternoon. <laughs> Well, you know, it's been a process. We, you know, mid-December we were four and seven, and uh, we've really found our stride. And the biggest reason is I think guys have kind of settled into their roles, and they're really believing in each other. Uh, we've played tight games very well. Our defense and our rebounding has really kept us in a lot of games. And it's you know one day at a time in this conference, anybody can beat anybody. And I think our guys' mentality has been really good. Their approach to these games has been uh, what it needs to be. First-year head coach Ryan Lundgren will have the reigning conference player of the week, Mr. Andrew Cook, on his side heading into the tournament weekend along with guys like James Lang, Guy Pedra, and more squared who have all hit their strides at the precise time. There's definitely been a lot of ups and downs throughout the season. Like I said, we, we took a couple losses at the beginning of the season. I got hurt, rolled my ankle, was out a couple games, but we had players step up, Trent Rogers, Josiah, they stepped up and uh, played their role well. So I was able to come back and we've, we've been able to be strong, but definitely ups and downs and we're peaking right now, which is the best part. And on the women's side, the number one seed in back-to-back -back conference champs, led by their legendary head coach, Rochelle Sayers, who has hoarded both regular season as well as conference tournament championships over the prior eight seasons, will be looking to get this squad over that hump in the NAIA National Tournament this year. Well, obviously being able to host those first rounds would be huge. I mean, we want to finish this conference tournament strong and put ourselves in the best position to earn one of those host sites. Then hopefully we're, we're moving on to Sioux City. But I think uh, this group has has some big goals in mind. I mean, we, we want to get out of that round of 16. And um, it's kind of been our Achilles heel the last few years. We've had some great seasons, but we just haven't gotten over that hump. And, and that's that's something that this team really would like to do. Along with myself, MTN Sports' Dante Williams will be sure to have your NAIA hoops action covered all weekend long. Reporting from the Capital City, I'm Hayes Bartra.